Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Maynard Virtual Open Day. It seems very odd to be doing it this way. On an open day here, normally, it's buzzing with lots and lots of people, lots and lots of children, our own students are here, and a really good opportunity to network and hear all about uh, this wonderful school. But here we are, needs must, and so we're going to do things very differently today and hope that we can still connect with you as best we can. So what am I going to talk about? I'm going to talk about the school as a whole, a school that I'm immensely proud of to be the headmistress, uh, because a school that is steeped in history and tradition, but it's a school that is well known for its caring, nurturing environment, but at the same time, cutting edge teaching and very, very high quality education. I'm proud of it as well because we're known every year to be a school that is not one of the best in the Southwest, but also one that is recognised nationally to be best value. And we're regularly in the top 10 in the UK for best value school. I'd like also to talk a little bit about why the Maynard is different. It dares to be different. And I think for that reason, uh, it has a great deal of success in that originality. Um, one of the things here you'll find is there's no grey. Every single girl matters. And we actually are, for an independent school of all one sex, quite a big school. We'll have over 450 girls here at the moment. Um, so in the grand scheme of things, a great deal of girls here to do team activities and have lots of friendships and really have um, experience that will be one never to be forgotten. My education philosophy is quite straightforward. Um, I don't think any school could ever be perfect. But if we strive for perfect, the likelihood is we're going to strike at least at excellence. And that is something I think that we do very, very well here. We have not only a superb curriculum, it's broad and it's deep and it's very challenging, which I'll go on a little bit more in, but we also have an enormous extracurricular program of about 100 clubs and activities running throughout the year. So it really is something for everybody here. I think if I was going to take two, uh, three words actually to talk about the Maynard, I would say challenge and I would say happiness and I would say well-being is very much at the heart of everything we do here. I think our curriculum is very challenging. I think it, it keeps that love of learning, learning alive. So in uh, the junior school and in key stage three, we keep an enormous breadth of subjects sort of 13 to 18 subjects going right the way up to the end of year 9 and then moving into the GCSE years of year 10, 11, we narrow that down uh, to nine GCSEs moving into an A-level programme of three or four A-levels with an extended project qualification. And I think that breadth is quite important to us because what we're trying to do is really keep nurturing that love of learning. But we also think later on in the school to concentrate on quality, not quantity. So we don't overburden our girls with enormous amounts of work. We try and get them to really do well at, at the subjects they've chosen. And that brings a great deal of success in the school. The other reason I think our teaching here is second to none is that, of course, we have small class sizes. Most of our classes in the junior school wouldn't go much over 2021 or so um, until maybe the very highest years occasionally and then exactly the same in the senior section of the school. So years seven, eight, nine would have anything from sort of 17 to 20 in a class and going into GCSE and A-level, quite often the classes will be smaller and A-level will never go above 15 in a set. So by having these small classes, uh, we have superb student and teacher relationships and that's one of the things we culture a great deal here. The culture of always asking for help, knowing that teachers will always be around there to support you, and knowing that student and teacher relationship is fantastic. They work so well together here. One of the beauties of being a slightly smaller school um, is that we do have an enormous family feel. Everybody knows everybody, and everybody gets on with one sole purpose of really doing well, excelling in education in a very, very happy journey. I think if you looked at our academic profile, uh, you would realize that it really is second to none. At A-level, uh, we regularly get probably, I, I would say, two thirds of our students getting A star to A. Um, and at GCSE, probably more like three quarters will be getting the top grades of nines, eights, and sevens. Our girls here have a really, uh, an amazing work ethic. It's sort of along the lines of uh, work hard and play hard. They love their studies. They get really stuck into it. You go around our lessons, and I have a real privilege of being able to do that as a headmistress. You'll see a very high level of debate, a lot of higher thinking going on, 
a lot of incredible discussion uh, in lessons like RS and history and English, um, a real tradition of loving the sciences here. You look at the numbers in maths and physics, we produce a lot of engineers, a lot of pure physicists, as well as amazing fashion designers and artists and journalists. So real breadth goes on here. And I think, again, going back to the fact that we do enjoy breadth as well as challenge. There is a feeling here about really being able to reach for the stars and not feeling anything but people really helping you to reach your dreams. There are no glass ceilings. And you may wonder sometimes, is a girls' school right for my daughter? Well, absolutely it is. You only have to look at the data uh, and the background behind girls' schools and you realise they're incredibly successful. In a girls' school, girls feel very relaxed and uninhibited. Uh, they feel they can really be their true selves and the way they learn is also quite different and we will always structure our lessons around that strength of learning that girls do have. So being uh, in an all-girls school, particularly a day school, where it's an oasis of their um, their learning and their sport and their drama and their music and everything is geared around what makes them fly and flourish and they're incredibly happy in what they have here um, so much so that they stay right the way through into the sixth form and that's something that we really cherish. I'm going to let others talk a little bit more about the sport and the drama here and the music and all the other things that we do and my director of sixth form will also talk about the sixth form in particular because we have a very big healthy sixth form here. But one of the things I think that I do want to just be very, very clear about is the happiness in this school. Yes, it is academically very progressive. Yes, it has a challenging curriculum, but it's done in an incredibly compassionate way uh, where, you know, if the children are happy, the girls are happy, then we know we have happy learners. And that is, I think, the secret of our success here. So if that is something that um, inspires you and is something that you think you would like to see more of, do come and visit us. Some people do ask us whether or not they can afford to come to an independent school. Well, you'd be surprised sometimes to realise just how much help we can give for those who do need it. So we have bursaries, we have scholarships, we have things called Maynard Awards. So we have ways of helping um, those if they just come and speak to us and ask about it. We also try and make it a little bit easier to run into Exeter. We know it's not the best place uh, to beat the traffic. So we have a fleet of minibuses with our own drivers and we go out into the countryside and pick up the girls and bring them into the city because probably only about half of our girls live in the city centre. Uh, and there's lots of other ways of getting to school. A lot of our girls use trains and the public buses as well. At the end of the day, and if you look at our destinations with the universities, we are here to produce amazing young women who are all ready to go out into quite a challenging, difficult 21st century world and we do a very good job of that. I really do hope that you'll come and see us uh, very soon, hopefully when lockdown eases a bit more, you can come and see what is normally a very buzzing school, uh, a very sort of lively environment, and come and meet some of our girls and certainly all the teachers and see what I mean about what a very special, magical place uh, the Maynard is. And we're very privileged here as the teaching body and all the support staff to work here. Do come and see us. I really look forward to that. My door is always open for a cup of tea and a chat and just talk about your daughter as an individual, specifically for what she needs and how much she would absolutely flourish and enjoy coming here. So I'll hand you over to other people to talk more specifically about their area and I do hope I see you very soon. Bye-bye for now.